So this is a mind-blowing thought, but Cormac McCarthy has been working on the passenger from anywhere from 40 to 60 years, according to reports from Cormac McCarthy himself and people who have been involved with Cormac McCarthy. And in this video today, we're going to unpack some of the timelines and statements that he has made to try and figure out how long he actually has been working on the passenger and Stella Maris. And I first have to commend Cormac McCarthy for taking such a slow approach to his writing. His second wife in a big interview that she gave a couple years ago said that he, she thinks that he left her because she was pushing him to earn more money faster and to do more and like, why are you taking so long to, you know, make money for us? And if you're, you're, you're a great writer, why is this taking years? And he was always said, I'm doing it in my own way. And most novelists don't make it. And I'm actually pulling these ideas from Haruki Murakami's new book that just got released yesterday, Novelist as a Vocation, that most people cannot be a novelist for their entire life because they can't actually slow down. Because I'm sure if we rewind 40 years ago, Cormac McCarthy, if he, if he wanted to, could explain to us the, the plot of The Passenger in 10 minutes. But writing a beautiful novel like he just released and actualizing it into a physical book may take decades or years to do. And that's why a lot of people can't become novelists because it's not a very instant gratification, especially if you're trying to be a master at it. And that's why at some level, anyone can be a novelist if you spend decades doing it because most people drop out really early in, really early in their careers. So it takes people like Cormac, who seems like has had multiple divorces and lived in poverty and lived a hard lifestyle to spend you know a decade at a time or decades working on a novel to push the literary seen in a better direction. So our first piece of information we are going to explore is from a 2009 interview with the Wall Street Journal that McCarthy gave. And he says, quote, on talking about his new book, The Passenger and Stella Maurice, this is a large, the long book is largely about a young woman. There are interesting scenes that cut in throughout the book, all dealing with the past. She's committed suicide about seven years before. I was planning on writing about a woman for 50 years. I will never, okay. So we have to ask, now we're in, with especially this quote, Some there's more concrete evidence further on, because 50 years ago from 2009, this is the 1960s. So has Cormac been actually planning on writing Alicia Western for 50 years? Because knowing how long he's planned a lot of his other novels, for instance, Blood Meridian and Suchery had been in the works for 10 to 20 years before they actually came into fruition came into fruition. The first thing he ever actually started working on was Sutri back when he was in kind of his college days, but it took him over a decade for, to actually release it and two other books got released before it. So the net, all the rest of our pieces of information are for Mike, are from Michael Lynn's Cruise books, Books Are Made of Books, a guide to the literary, literary influences of Cormac McCarthy. And he has this line right here stating, according to the Cambridge chron chronology, he began working on The Passenger in 1980, soon after the publication of Sutri in 1979, and while deep into his first Western novel, which would then become Blood Meridian. So there are other reports that he has, he started it in 1980, but the first actual report of him working on it, which is still an extended amount of time, comes from a, qu a quote from one of Cormac McCarthy's main correspondents, and we are going, Michael Durda. And so we're going to read that now. In fact, we know from an an anecdote told by Michael Durda that he was doing research for it as long as 1999. Durda, former editor of the Washington Post Book World in an essay titled Excursion from his collected collection readings, tells of meeting Joseph DeSalvo, owner of the Faulkner House Bookshop in New Orleans in 1999. He informed Durda that a few weeks earlier, Cormac McCarthy came in, I recognized him, Joe recounted, and asked if he would sign a couple, po a couple of his books. The famously reclusive novelist just said, no, Joe, I don't do that anymore. Apparently, McCarthy was spending some time in New Orleans researching the lives of deep sea divers on offshore oil rigs. So all the way back in 1999, before No Country for Old Men, before The Road, he was in New Orleans doing research. And there are other connections dating back to 1980 of him stating that he's working on this female protagonist novel that's based in New Orleans. And then we have an interview saying that he's been working on it for 50 years and technically 60 years. And if we take it back to the date of, you know, 2020. So what do you guys think about this patience, about working on mold? seems like he's juggling always multiple projects at a time. And I think that's actually what's kind of interesting about the Border Trilogy, that it feel, felt that when I read about the inspirations and how he did it, there, it didn't seem like the Border Trilogy was being worked on for a really long time. Maybe All the Pretty Horses was, but a lot of those books actually came out in pretty quick succession. So who knows how long McCarthy was working on those, but those have a different type of magic to them that, that don't feel as refined. And if you guys want to see Cormac McCarthy's only statement about writing The Passenger, I have a video on that right over here, and I will see you guys over there in a second. Peace.